Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel So Happy. My name's Alex and today I'm going to be showing you my mini Berlin fabric haul. Me and my boyfriend just came back from a mini trip to Berlin which was so so nice because I grew up in Germany so it was so nice to be back and eat my entire body weight in Pombers. All the Pombers. And Milka. <laughs> so we had a lovely lovely time and it's just really typical because when we went it was freezing. Um, we scheduled, we, we checked the weather before we went like a week ahead and it was like minus eight. <laughs> When I booked it, I imagined my whole beautiful handmade wardrobe I was going to wear like the Mila dungarees and like a green corduroy with a really beautiful chiffon ladybird blouse and in reality I was wearing thermals, trousers, t-shirt, leggings, jumper. So like any mini trip to any city, of course you have to take your boyfriend fabric shopping. Oh yeah. So we went to Stoff and Still, which I've always wanted to go to. I know this isn't a German store, I think it's Danish, um, but they had a store just like 10 minutes tram ride from Alexanderplatz, so I was like, we have to go. I've always wanted to go to Chopin Still, so we went and it was warm, so he was happy. And I have this really funny, I'm just gonna put here this really funny photo of my boyfriend um, pushing a trolley of my fabrics. Like, you're taking me on a one night mini break and we're still going fabric shopping. Of course, we're going fabric shopping. So, the great thing about Chopin Still is that everything was the most incredible quality. It was beautiful. So, normally when I go fabric shopping, my eye goes to like the print or the color and then I gravitate towards that and I don't let myself get attached until I touch it. So, if it doesn't feel grey or if it feels flimsy or like cheap I, I generally just avoid it but here it was kind of like oh my goodness everything I know everything is amazing and it was it was gorgeous so yeah the quality was out of this world it was amazing I've had my eye on this one for a while I've been like creeping up on it on their website and it's just I mean oh my goodness cherries I love cherries yes <laughs> so yeah I mean can we just can we just take that in it's so beautiful i love the mint leaves and the fact that the stalks they're not like pitch black they're almost black so it's not too intense with the pink it's so blooming cute it's gorgeous so for this this bad boy it's the most beautiful quality and they give you these like weird stickers so it's like you know when you you know when you buy cheese and they like cut the cheese and they cellophane and they put like a label on it for you to take to the checkout. It's the same thing. So I love cheese and buying cheese and I love fabric. So I love the fact that these two kind of, you know, link together. It's like buying a lovely brie, but you get a jersey. So this is like the little label it comes with. Um, excuse the nail varnish. I really need to keep on top of this. Um, but yeah, it gives you all the care instructions, which is amazing. So you could like take a sample of this fabric and put it in your little maker journal or something and just have the sticker there so you know how to care for it. But it's just wash on 40, tumble dry iron. That's good. Um, and I got two meters for 23 euros 90. So the jersey was about, I think it was like 11 something a meter. But you should, you guys, I wish this was like, you know, you could just put your hand in and touch the fabric, even though that sounds kind of creepy, putting on like the ring. Um, yeah, I wish you could just feel this because it feels so good. It's like the most perfect way. It's bouncy, it's gorgeous, it feels beautiful. The cut, look, I mean, just. Can we just take in that colour? It's gorgeous. So my plans for this beautiful um, cherry fabric, which I'm going to call my milkshake cherry dress, because it looks like, you know, when you get those vintage pink milkshakes and they put the cherries on the top, it looks like this. This is why I was attached to it straight away. Silly reason. So when I make this, I should totally have like a picture of me in like a diner or something with the milkshake and being like, ooh. So my plan for this is to make the Joni dress. I think it's Joni. Yes, the Joni dress from um, Tilly the Buttons' new book, Stretch. I thought I would make this dress, and I haven't quite decided to either make it with the three quarter length sleeves or a really beautiful fluted sleeve because I just think with this and the fact that I mean can we just let's just have a play I mean I mean yeah like yeah it's, it's real nice and I do not see me wearing this in winter I, I can't like I might wear it with grey tights but it's a summer one I'm gonna wear it with like really cute sandals which I have in this exact red um, from saltwater and they will just look so gorgeous and I also have a handbag in this mint so all together, it's just gonna be like the dream. I really miss wearing really colorful clothes. So a couple of years ago, I used to be a stylist for Kate Spade and I used to basically dress head to toe in the most beautiful Kate Spade dresses when I worked there. And this is something I really miss. I really miss wearing like really crazy colors or like just lots of color in general. So my sort of safe spot is this. So I love navy with color on top. So this for me is like kind of rekindling my old Kate Spade vibes, which I miss. So I'm just gonna, I need to wear more jewelry and I would need to wear more color. Now the second fabric was a bit of a splurge. It was quite expensive. Um, it came to, where's, where's my cheese sticker? <laughs> where's the cheese sticker? 
Where's the cheese sticker? <laughs> Sorry, I can't find the cheese sticker. We're just gonna call it from now on the cheese sticker. Um, but I bought this. Oh, now I know how we all feel about lemon fabric in the in the home sewing industry. We're kind of you know eight <laughs> on it. So <gasps> can we just? Oh my god! I saw this. I literally. I think I have an issue. I got heart palpitations. I don't know whether any of you else feel like this, but when you see a fabric like across the room, like a hunter, like a cheetah in the wild, and you've seen a warthog, you kind of like pelt um but yes can we just oh it's beautiful so it's this gorgeous gorgeous pink now i've been told many a time not to wear pink because one i am pale as hell and two i'm ginger uh but you know what i say to that <laughs> i'm gonna wear the pink but i think it looks it's okay i mean if it looks like i've made a dress of my own flesh at least it's got lemons on right it's fine but can we just take in how gorgeous this is so they have it's like pink with these sort of it's not great, it's like a mauve kind of like dashes. It's just so beautiful. And look at these lemons, they're just so beautiful. And in reverse, it's like limes with pink leaves. <laughs> like, can we just, that's so cool. So if you wanted to, you could have like, and then you can make like a shirt dress and the collar, you could have one side, that side, like this. That's an idea, that's really cool. I've made the Francois before and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. So I really want to make, I've been craving to make another sleeveless one with the tab with the buttons. And I've been wanting to make it in this sort of like really cool kind of, not necessarily psychedelic, but kind of like 60s fabric. So when I saw this, I just, I mean, it's quite Wes Anderson-y, it's kitsch as hell and it's super cute. And it's sort of like this woven jacquardy fabric, it's just, like I wish, I mean this is coming up pretty clear, but let me just zoom up one of those lemons. I mean look at the colours and the way this is designed. It's just so stunning. It's beautiful. Look at the back. Lemons and limes. Lemons and limes. And when life gives you lemons, make a Francois! Oh I found the cheese sticker! The cheese sticker's here! Okay, oh ouch. Oh, so I spent 45 euros on this for two meters. I mean about the, ooh, the cheese sticker. Here you go guys. Look at that cheese sticker. Is it gonna... But that's such a clever idea, how they've got all the care instructions and everything on that. So I'm definitely gonna draw it up in my little Gertie book and stick, put a piece of fabric and stick this, my cheese sticker, next to it. So I can, obviously I will remember, but you know, for like hoarding aesthetic reasons, I just wanna document everything. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul. I love watching um, little mini hauls or little mini videos because I always watch them with my coffee on a coffee break at work or, you know, in the morning, cause then it's not too long. So it's like a nice sort of mini video. You can just like, you know, enjoy. Let me know in the box down below if any of you have ever shopped at this store, Stuff and Still, it's amazing. And I wish I did like a proper um, fabric venture in Berlin, but I was only there for just over um, 24 hours cause our flight had issues Issues going there and coming back. Crazy snow. Anyway, in other news, I was recently, actually it airs, it aired yesterday, well aired today, but this is going up tomorrow, which is Friday. I am on the brand new episode of Stitches Brew Podcast, which is an amazing podcast put together by Meg from Pigeon Wishes and Gabby from Gabadashri. I will put the channels here in the box below, all the icons. Um, yeah, so they invited me. <laughs> to go on their podcast which was amazing along with the wonderful 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 who I totally adore Fiona Parker from the Diary of a Chain Stitcher I will link the episode below and we're basically talking all about our day jobs which is working in the costume industry I will see you again soon and enjoy the rest of your day and please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you again later bye now bye